Yes, you read that right. I have some great news and I'm super excited. First of all, I got the Ranger running. Uh, as you can see, I got my goals here of what I'm trying to get done in the next little bit. Uh, and the next thing on that list um, might get done today. I'm trying to sell the Ranger. I know a lot of you guys told me not to sell it. You guys want to see me keep it. Uh, but my main priority right now is the Honda Prelude. Uh, I can't justify four projects, uh, plus I need the space and I can use the money. Uh, so it ends up being the best option for me right now. Now, what is the great news with the Senlude? Well, it has something to do with this rolling chassis. So uh, let's take you over to the garage and show you what I'm talking about. So up until now, we finished the rear suspension for the rear wheel drive conversion, as you guys can see in this clip here. So the next thing on the agenda is to deal with the front suspension. Now we got some really good ideas of how we're going to do that. But every time we come up with an idea, there's a small little speed bump that we got to get over. For example, one of the first problems that we had is how are we going to fit a V8 in this engine bay where the Honda subframe went right in the way. So we essentially had to find a new subframe that was going to work with this car. With a little bit of luck, research, patience, I found out that a Ford Mustang Fox Body K member, K member is just the subframe, it actually has very similar measurements to this car. So long story short, we already got that done. The next thing was how are we going to get springs in this car and make it roll on its own wheels, on its own weight yet again. We did a little bit of a photo shoot the other day, so this is already set up kind of nice, but this is the old Prelude uh, strut tower and coilovers for the front. And this is the new setup that we're getting in the front. So what I ended up doing was I ordered some Mustang coilovers because they'll bolt right into where the subframe was. And now we had to make them match the strut towers of the Honda Prelude. So with a bunch of mock-up and cutting, that's something that we came up with. Now what that is, is essentially we're going to be taking this plate and what this plate is, is a plate that Chris made me and it matches the bolt pattern of a Fox body. So theoretically, once we get these new coilovers in, everything should just bolt right up. But that's not the only issue. A problem with just bolting everything in is the springs actually touch the frame and they're too close to the car. I have one in here just for mock-up to show you guys what I'm talking about. But look, we're actually touching the wheel here and we're touching the frame here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get wheels that have a negative offset that'll push the wheels out further. But for now, I'm just going to use spacers. And we're also going to have to figure out how to get the entire wheel assembly further away from the car so that the angle of the strut tower is a little bit greater and it should push it away from the frame. Now, my friends and I talked about some possible solutions on how we can make this work for us. And we came up with the idea of making longer control arms that should push the entire wheel assembly away from the frame. So I took this picture and I posted it on a group on Facebook and I asked them, hey, I found these adjustable control arms. Will they work? And luckily, to my surprise, someone messaged in the group saying that I don't even need to worry about getting adjustable control arms. I can just get a newer model control arm from a, I think, a 99 Mustang and they should bolt right into the subframe and they're significantly wider and they might work. So. I ordered some, they should be here tomorrow. I'm gonna to start messing around with everything and hopefully we get that much closer to having a rolling chassis. So guys, basically I have the parts on the way that I need and I have the rest of them already here. I know what I'm gonna do. I know how I'm gonna do it. Uh, our main goal, one of our next main goals is right around the corner. And if you guys have been supporting me up until now, please make sure you guys like the video and I'm assuming you're already subscribed, but make sure you hit the bell. That way you won't miss any updates on the build. Thank you guys so much for the ongoing support. And if you're wondering what we're doing with the engine, make sure you click this button right here.